as we worship our God, who is so worthy to be praised. And we're going to make up tonight for the many people who aren't worshiping God as he deserves to be worshiped, as, as, his, as is his due. And um, as we begin tonight, I just want to share with you a sense I had in prayer. It was just a few days ago, and we, we were notified that things are now going to open up here in Ontario so we can have full capacity at our churches, we can get somewhat back to normal. And I, I, I thought to myself, I said, oh good, we can finally get to some, some real kingdom building. And I, I kind of felt a, 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 almost a reprimand from the Lord. And it's like the Lord showed me how much grace was available when things were locked down. And it's like it was this revelation. It's like God was saying, if you only knew how much I wanted to touch my people. During this difficult time, I was ready. I was, I was willing. The spirit was overflowing. And there was, there was, there was kind of a bit of a, almost a sadness. It's like we, we, we did a lot here at St. Mary's, but there was just a sense, oh, you know, there's, there was so much grace. And as I was kind of a little disappointed with myself, I kind of felt the Lord saying, okay, now, this is a transition time. We're opening up again. We need to let the whole world know that Jesus is alive, that he has power for his children. He wants to feed his children and give them grace. And so, brothers and sisters, tonight, there's grace available. You know, the Lord Jesus, he says, I will not turn away anyone who comes to me. And, you know, we can come to the Lord physically, but never open our hearts. And so, tonight... As we worship, I just just encourage us all, let's open our hearts wide open and let the Lord touch us in his delicate way. He knows exactly what we need. Some of us need a good shake-up. Other of us need a little consoling. Some of us need, need just to rest in his arms. But he has grace for us tonight. Okay, scripture for you. Acts chapter 2, when the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. Every one of them. The Holy Spirit fell on each one of them. Every single one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. And I want the viewers, those of you who are watching online, you know the Lord Jesus said, the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. The Lord's going to find you tonight because He loves you. And he wants you wherever you are, in your room, maybe you're alone, maybe you're, you're, you're down, you're struggling. He wants you to, to sing his praises, stand up and worship, lift your hands to him, and worship the Lord of power, of love. He's a mighty God. Amen?